Hi guys, welcome back to Emophone Channel. If you've recently purchased a second-hand iPhone from someone else, but the device is still linked to the previous owner's Apple ID, you are unable to access certain features or apps so. How to remove previous owner's Apple ID without password? In this section, we'll walk you through the most effective methods for removing an Apple ID when you don't have the password. This video will show you three easy ways to remove previous Apple ID permanently. Even without knowing the password of Apple ID, let's get started. Way 1. Remove previous owner's Apple ID via settings. Let me show you. Step 1. Open settings and click general. Step 2. Click reset and erase all content and settings. Step 3. Enter your passcode when prompted, then click erase iPhone. You'll need to enter your Apple ID password to proceed with the deletion, but what if you forgot huh? your password? No worries, just keep watching the video. Way 2. Remove previous owner's Apple ID via Imaphone Lock Wiper. You can delete Apple ID without passcode with a success rate of 99%. Let me show you how to do it. Step 1. Click the link in the comments to download Lock Wiper. Launch it on your computer and choose the Unlock Apple ID mode. Connect your iOS device to the computer, unlock the iOS device screen, and select Trust from your iPhone screen. Step 2. Click the Start to unlock to remove the Apple ID. Step 3. Down the firmware package online. Step 4. 6 Start Unlock. Once the process is complete, the Apple ID account won't be in the device anymore. And now the previous Apple ID account has been deadled. Now move to setting. You can reset the Apple ID and the password now. This software can help you bypass the iPhone passcode, so you don't have to worry about forgetting your password. It can also reset your iPhone and bypass MDM. Click below to download Lock Wiper. Way 3. Delete your Apple ID via iTunes, you also can reset your iPhone via iTunes. However, this method only has a success rate of 55%. Step 1. Connect your iPhone to the PC, and then put your device into recovery mode. Instantly click and release the volume up key and then the volume down key. Press and hold the side button until you see the this screen. Then open iTunes and restore your iPhone. Now you can click Restore to try resetting your iPhone to delete Apple ID. While using iTunes, you may find that iTunes cannot reset your iPhone for some unknown reason dot like this. So we recommend using Lock Wiper for a smoother experience, okay? That's all for today's video. Remember to subscribe to our channel if you found these methods helpful. Share them with your friends. See you next time.